I'm Tia Borden with Mining IR, and beside me is Aldo Boitano, CEO of Clean Tech Lithium. Aldo, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, thank you. Can you give us some insight on the company? Okay, well, Clean Tech Lithium was founded in 2017. I'm one of the two co founders. Uh, from day one, we were looking to produce the greenest lithium of the world in a combination with uh, direct lithium extraction that takes the lithium out of the brine without uh, uh, depleting the subsurface aquifer and renewable energy. I, I, w I was part of the so-called renewable energy revolution in Chile. We had three projects uh, in, in Chile, in the, in the two in the southern tip of the lithium triangle, more one the other close to Salar de Atacama, and the ones in the south part of the lithium triangle we've been developing since then. We have a uh, York uh, estimate of both projects of 2 million tons of lithium, enough to produce 20,000 tons per year each. Uh, we're the, at the level of one of them, uh, develop all the way to a scoping study. The other one will come up uh, in a couple of months from there. One is called Laguna Verde, the more developed, and the second one is called uh, Laguna, uh, uh, Francisco Basin. Uh, we'll be doing hydrogeological work, working with the local communities. Both projects sit fairly high at 4,200 meters. That's more than 10,000 feet, 12,000 feet. And that uh, has meant uh, there's no much significant flora or fauna there, working with the environmental work already. Uh, yeah, that's, that's in a nutshell uh, the company. And what is Chile like as a whole, as a mining jurisdiction? Well, Chile is one of the most prominent mining jurisdictions of the world, along with Australia and Canada. We are the largest copper producer of the world. Renewable energy, again, very important, the infrastructure in place. The government is very prone to clean, clean production of mining. That's our case. Uh, we aim to have a zero emissions. Uh, it's the headquarters for Bechtel, for example. Mitsubishi produces 40% of the revenue of mining, and the headquarters for the whole mining world is in Chile. So I was born and raised in a copper mine. Oh. And my dad worked uh, for one of those companies that I just mentioned. <laughs> so it comes by you naturally. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Being in it the does. industry. Now, can you tell us some catalysts that investors should be aware of? Well, the catalyst, it's a, it's a combination of, of marketing, where we just uh, are here in the OTC. Uh, we are listed originally in, 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 uh, in England, AIM listed. Of course, we're in Germany, and, and there'll be more news about that soon. Uh, but, but then the, the hardcore catalyst of the, on the projects is the drilling results it will come out soon of one of the two properties. We're drilling simultaneously as we've done on the previous years on Francisco Basin and Laguna Verde. That will mean updated York resources along the way. We're also working at a scale pilot uh, plant of direct lithium extraction and that will come, uh, we'll start producing small quantities and six months from now we'll have a larger plant with one ton uh, per month. Uh, 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 that's that's pretty much what we're doing. We're starting the PFS with one of the properties uh, with uh, uh, Worley, and we're starting with the other uh, fairly soon. One project is a little bit more advanced than the other, Laguna Verde, that has 1.5 million tons of resource, 800,000 of them indicated and measured. Uh, in Francisco Basin, we have uh, uh, half a million. With one well, we're drilling two, three, and four. And uh, those will be the, the, the main, the major news that will come out. Well, Joe, can you tell us about your team and, and who are, who's involved in the company? Yeah, that's a good question. You being a woman, we have more than more women than men in the in the operations team. Actually, operations is run by a woman. Uh, that uh, is very important for us. We aim with our team. We aim to to be a reference for the industry in the mining sector, who you know is very hierarchical. We have a startup mentality, but then qualifying with all the mining uh, rules and things, we have a very detailed quality assessment, quality control. <coughs> the hydrogeological model is work by, led by a woman as well, the same with the community work. And, and the, the, all the team, uh, it's very, very um, uh, hands-on and very competent. Not only the team, the chairman, uh, Steve Kessler, our chairman, is, uh, is, has a doctoral degree in hydrometallurgy. He took from a startup all the way into developing the largest three copper mines of the world. One is Condida, second uh, Coyahuas in Chile, and then Altamina in Peru, and developed the largest uranium uh, company of the world uh, in Namibia with the largest ionic exchange plant. And that process is very similar to direct lithium extraction out of brine. So not only the team itself on the ground, but also on the board. And the operations is located in Copiapó, the nearest uh, mining town of these two projects, and then in Santiago, we have some of the marketing and legal legal people working there. Aljo, what separates you from other junior mining companies? 
I think this idea of being clean from day one, I have a background of mountaineering, I love these places and I, I don't see a contradiction of having a production of something the world needs for, for electrical vehicles that will help global warming, global change in, in climate, but at the same time uh, leave the place as it is. We don't have a, we're working on some projects with the local community on tourism, on high altitude campsites and things like that. So I don't see any, any conflict, on the contrary, somebody that cares for the environment, somebody that has credit for working with the environment, it's, it's, I think it's very natural to lead as a CEO of the company into the future. And what are you looking forward to for the coming year? The coming year, it's a big change in the, in the valuation of the company, being open in, in the, as many markets as we can. Uh, we're de-risking the project with the Jorks, the, the, all, the, all the studies, the, the PFS, pre-feasibility studies, and the radiological, and also ESG. Not only de-risk, but at the same time, work hard on, on, on all the governance and environmental of the company. Um, and, uh, and make awareness. You are here for that reason, make awareness of us. Uh, Forbes uh, uh, credit us as the top five uh, stocks from leasing too much this year. And, then, and we're very thankful of that. That means the people are getting to know us. We had this approach of doing good, doing it right, but not, not, so, uh, not so aware of that we needed to tell the story. We've been doing that for a while and, and, it, and people are knowing about us. So thank you for interviewing us. Aldo, is there anything else you'd like to leave our investors with? No, I guess that uh, we're at, uh, a very undervalued stock with all the things we've just been asked and uh, I will make an invitation to investors, especially here in North America. Again, last week we are an OTC company, even though we're listed in London, and we invite you guys and girls to invest in us. Aldo, thank you so much for joining me. Yes.